gathering turned into a procession which concluded at the Congress Hall named after Comrade Charu Majumdar. One of the two entrances was named after martyrs Comrade Suresh Wagle, the Central Committee member of Communist Party of Nepal. The Congress was attended by 60 delegates and a five members presidium was elected from among the delegates. For about 15 days, the delegates engaged in debates and discussions. Though the arguments at times were sharp, they only aided the process of achieving greater political ideological unity. The Congress firmly upheld the revolutionary line of 1970 program and enriched it to incorporate the changes in economy and polity since then. The Congress decided that the guiding ideology of the party is Marxism, Leninism, Maoism. Maoism is more apt than Mao thought. The Congress accepted the contradiction between Kampradar, bureaucratic bourgeoisie and Indian people as a fundamental contradiction. This was absent in the party program of 1970. The Congress strongly reasserted the need to establish the leadership role of working class. Free and frank discussions were conducted on the practice of last five years. While the delegates were engaged in these heated deliberations, the rest of the comrades of the commune had a packed and fulfilling schedule. Those not assigned special duties spend morning at the school conducted for those who cannot read or write. The whole commune were looked forward for the evening tea time because the cultural forum renders some lively performances at this time. The themes varied to exposures of the political and social system to the inner party struggle against non-proletarian trends like liberalism, spontaneity, etc. This rectification campaign was one of the main organizational tasks set up by the Congress. Members and delegates eagerly crowd around the fresh edition of Gaila Bani, Communist World Magazine. On 8th March, large number of village women joined the delegates to celebrate the International Women's Day. An opinion came that there has been right trained from the very beginning, but the Congress refuted this. However, the movement could not have forged ahead without having made any mistakes. Some important mistakes identified by the Congress were lacuna in developing the network of primary party units, weakness in developing a strong underground party structure, weakness in developing people's militia on a broader scale, delay in the decision to form people's guerrilla army, weakness in developing organs of people's power in accordance with the level of the movement, shortcomings in developing political struggle, lack of proper understanding in developing urban work. After thorough discussions, Congress enriched and passed six documents. Congress took up important tasks, developing strong underground party structure, increasing the recruitment from basic classes, developing PGA qualitatively and quantitatively, transforming PGA into PLA, building movement in urban areas, especially concentrating on working class, conducting rectification campaign against alien trends from the party and movement, building united fronts against repression, against Hindu fascist forces led by BJP, against imperialism, with nationality movements.
The Congress also recognized that the process of unification of communist revolutionaries within India had to be continued. The most important organizations among this is MCC. The coordination between communist revolutionaries all over the world should be furthered. The Congress concretely decided to conduct more international programs with other Maoist parties. The international magazine Vanguard will be published more effectively. The Congress concluded on the morning of 22nd March 2001. Slogans rented in the air. The historical Congress evoked strong solidarity from all over India. Thousands marched in solidarity on the streets of Calcutta. New decisions and clearer directions gave the comrades a greater arch. The battlefields called great were challenges ahead and still greater were the sacrifices. But strong support of the people and a correct revolutionary line would fulfill the dreams of innumerable martyrs who have made their lives since Akshilbari.